In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve common issues you might be facing when signing documents with DocuSign. Sometimes your signature or initials appear too small on a document or you don't like the style and would like to change it and you can't figure it out. DocuSign doesn't make it that simple, to be honest. I'm going to walk you through how you can solve all these issues, whether you have a DocuSign account or whether it's your first time using DocuSign ever. Let's get started. As soon as you've filled out the documents, in case there were fields that you had to complete, you're going to click on sign and then your signature will be applied. Now I can change the signature because it's not my first time signing. I can either choose a handwritten type font or I can draw my signature or I can also upload an image of my signature. But let's go back to what I was saying before. So you drew your signature and you thought it looked great. And then when you look at it, you actually realize that no, it doesn't look that great you're not gonna be able to click on change. If I click on this again, I cannot change it. And that's because you're a first time signer. Now, if after signing the document, like I've just done, you realize that the size of the signature is too small and so you don't like it, you would like the size of the signature to be bigger, you need to contact the sender and ask them to correct the envelope. If, however, it's the style of the signature that you don't like, unfortunately, it's too late. You can no longer change that. You're going to have to contact the sender as well. But this time, instead of asking them to correct the envelope, you're going to have to ask them to send you a new envelope, which honestly, they will not like very much because let's just be honest, it's not a big deal. It's just a digital signature. But if you really want your document to be perfect, you can't stand the way your document looks, then by all means, go ahead and ask the sender of the document to send you a new envelope. But before you make the same mistakes, then follow those next steps. First, you want to create a free DocuSend account. Go to DocuSend.com. You'll find the link quite easily. By setting up the DocuSend account, you will be able to preset your signature in your account and be able to change it as many times as you want. And even during the signing session, if you make a mistake, you'll be able to change it. Like I can change it myself here because my email address is connected to a DocuSign account. Let me show you how this works now. And before I forget, my name is Sofian Saudi. I'm the founder of Solution Consulting. I was previously working with DocuSign before back in 2019. And since 2020, I founded Solution Consulting where we help organizations drowning in paperwork automate their document workflows. If your organization sends signature requests to people often, you can save hundreds of hours by automating the boring tasks such as document creation, tracking, storing, and you can do this using automation. And to do that, you're gonna have to learn how to use DocuSign, map out your workflow, setting up your DocuSign template, and then integrate DocuSign with all the apps that you use every day. And this is something you can absolutely do by yourself. But if you don't want to struggle on your own or waste precious time setting this up, then you can use the link in the description of this video to book a strategy session with one of our consultants. And during the call, we will assess your workflow and provide you with the best implementation roadmap based on your needs. Now, if you're more of a DIY person, you can also download our free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet. The link is also below. It will help you get started with DocuSign on the right foot. But for now, let's go back to how to set up our own DocuSign signature and one that we like. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. Once you sign up for your DocuSign account, you can log in and click on your image or your initials if you haven't uploaded an image yet, and then click on Manage Profile. From here, just click on Signatures and then click on Add Signature. Here is where you'll be able to set the default signature for your DocuSign account. So you can either choose one of the predefined handwritten looking fonts from DocuSign. You can also draw your signature, although I don't recommend doing that using a mouse. It's awful. And you can also upload a picture of your signature inside of DocuSign. You can also do this with your initials, but I actually don't like any of those options. My personal preference is to use the mobile app for that. And so once you've got the mobile app and logged into your free DocuSign account, you can click on edit your signature. And here you have two main ways to set up your signature. You can either do it using your fingers by drawing on your screen. So you can choose the thickness of your pencil and the color like this. You can also take a picture, although I don't really like it. I don't think it's that great. Once you're happy with that, you just click on create and that's it. That's your signature. You can do the same thing for your initial as well. 
there is another alternative to all of this and it's the get over it method i will encourage you to check with your legal counsel but to my knowledge the size or the shape of the signature should not affect the legal validity of the document the enforceability of digital signatures relies on how you were authenticated and your intent to sign the document not on the way the signature looks however if you really want to be able to choose the style of signature and they're only giving you the option to choose a pretty fine style and you really want to draw your signature then this is not something that you can fix yourself as the signer of the document it means that the sender of the DocuSign envelope has locked the signing method. The only thing you can do is to contact the sender and ask them to unlock the signing method. But now let's talk about what you can do if you're the sender of the document. Option one, the get over it method. It works. But if the signer insists and providing counseling to your signers about their feelings and making them understand that the issue with the signature is not really about the signature, but with the deep childhood traumas that they've had in their past, isn't part of your job description, then you might want to try to identify the issue. So the first question you want to ask yourself, is it the signature style that the signer doesn't like? Because if that's the case, the only thing you can do is to void the envelope and then send a new one and then share this video with them so that before they sign the new envelope and mess it up again, they understand how to set up their signature. If it's not the style of the signature that's the issue, but the size, then you need to know whether the signer has clicked on finish or not. So for example, here, I did click on adopt and sign and replace whatever. I just clicked on sign and I haven't clicked on finish. Go to agreements, inbox, sent, and then you will find that envelope and you can correct that envelope. I've done a video on how to correct envelopes and what you need to know about all of this. I really recommend that you Look at it. Once you correct the envelope, you will be able to resize the signature field. For example, let's say that this signature field was too small. You would be able to make it significantly bigger. Once you're done, you click on correct, and then the signer will see a much larger signature when they sign the document. Now, if they have clicked on finish signing, so if they have clicked on this finish button here, then you have to send a new envelope and correct the template or the envelope before you send it to the signer. And lastly, if the issue is not with the style or the size, but it's that the signer wants to be able to use one of the signing method that is not available to them, then you have to go inside of your admin settings, then go to signing settings and then navigate to the signature adoption configuration tab. And here is how you'll be able to disable or enable the signing method. You can also here configure what will be the default signature mode. Do they start on adopt, which means it's the handwritten type? Do they start on drawing? Do they start on upload? And here you can also turn on all the different handwritten signature styles that you want to make available. And then from that moment, your settings will be applied. Now, if despite all of this, the size of the signature on the document is still too small, it might have to do with the resolution of the document. Scan documents typically have that problem. If you're the owner of the DocuSign account, those are things that you might not think about when setting up your DocuSign account, but there's a lot of things, a ton of things that need to be set up correctly when you start with DocuSign. And so in the next video, I'm going to go over all the best practices, all the settings that you should take care of as soon as you start with DocuSign. And if you need help with your company's DocuSign account, feel free to book a session using the link just down below. I will see you in the next one. And until then, happy signing. Ciao.